Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my May 2020 book haul. So, uh, obviously there are no charity shops at the moment because the world is in lockdown. I've been occasionally ordering books online here and there. And one of them has arrived to kick us off with, and boy, it is a chunker. This is the Wind Up Bird Chronicle. This is the reading guide edition as well. By Haruki Murakami. Uh, it's, what, 600 odd pages long and a tiny, tiny print. You can barely even see it on the camera. Uh, I'm supposed to be reading this as a buddy read with Charlie Heathcote. So what I might suggest is we do... I don't know, maybe a chapter a day or something. There are 39 chapters. Let's do a chapter a day. See what he, what he thinks of that. Uh, so I'm going to message him in a bit and see what he says. Maybe we even backdate it. So a chapter a day from Friday. So it's now Saturday. Because that will then help us keep track of where we are as well. Um, because we need to be up to the chapter that the day is. That's a pretty cool little note on the cover here. Alfred Birnbaum coined the term Wind Up Bird in his translation of Wind Up Bird and Tuesday's Women. Cool. So yeah, here I have Three Blind Mice and Other Stories by Agatha Christie. I noticed that the front... I mean, that's just happened. <laughs> so it's not the best quality version of this book, but um, hey-ho, it's another one of the Agatha... Oh, it's just gone off completely now. Um, it's another one of the Agatha Christie books that I haven't read yet, so... Um... And my friend picked it out at random, picking out random numbers uh, from my TBR. And then here, we have Fat Gay Vegan, Eat, Drink and Live Like You Give a Shit by Sean O'Callaghan. Um, yeah, and it's just a sort of a short book on veganism, really. Hello, whole time. Um, I went out for my daily walk up and down the hill yesterday, and someone had put a little stall outside the front of their house. Um, and they were just like, free books, help yourself. And uh, I found this there, The Life and Times of the Thunderbolt Kid by Bill Bryson. And I've been on a Bill Bryson kick recently. Also, look how big that print is. Lovely. I'll, I'll, I'll whiz through this, hopefully. Um, and I've heard good things about this book as well. So I'm probably going to read this one next. Uh, I got a parcel in the post today. Another one that I ordered. I've been getting my friends to pick out random numbers for me and then getting the book that they correspond to on my wish list. So this is The Primrose Path, and this is the first novel by Bram Stoker. And it looks, I mean, it's 126 pages, and the print is small, but not incredibly small. So I can live with that. Jerry O'Sullivan is a Dublin theatrical carpenter. He hankers after life in London and persuades his wife to uproot with their three young children. In London, he falls in with Me Mephistopheles and a cast of dubious characters. And before long, he and his family are enmeshed in tragedy. Oh, and it looks as though it's also got something called Buried Treasures in it. So is this two? What is in this? It is. It's two novels. Although it looks as though Buried Treasures is quite short. Alright, uh, today I got this in the post. This is The Pale Horse by Agatha Christie. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess this is a standalone as opposed to like a Poirot or a Miss Marple one. Actually, there's a character in this called Dane Calthrop. Calthrop. That name's familiar. I feel like that was also in a different um, series. So yeah, just another one to tick off. Looking forward to getting started on it. So I received Yertle the Turtle and Other Stories by Dr. Seuss, which I've already read. Um, basically, Dr. Seuss is just one of those authors who I eventually want to get through all of his books. And then I got Time of Contempt by Andrzej Sapkowski. So this is the next book in the Witcher series. I believe it's the second novel, and it'll be the fourth book that I've read so far because I read the two short story collections first. And I'm rather looking forward to getting to it. Yes, a full review coming soon. Probably, well, I'll probably finish reading it by the time you see this haul, but I doubt the review will be out because I've got a backlog. It's great. All right, just the one book to haul for you today, and I can't even show it to you because I don't know where it is because I've already read it and put it somewhere, but it's Tuesday by Neil Gaiman, and it's basically uh, a little children's story about a panda that can't stop sneezing. So consider it hauled. <laughs> Hello, I've, I've been ordering some more books. You know what I'm like. <laughs> so um, I've got a few of my friends to pick out some more random numbers for me and I've been given one or two here and there. So uh, for example, I was given this by um, a girl I went on like a socially distanced date with, I guess. Uh, Ian Banks, The Bridge. I don't really know anything about it. I had a look on Goodreads and it hasn't got particularly good reviews out of, out of the people who I'm friends with on there. But I've never read any Ian Banks before, so I'm quite excited. Um, she actually also offered me Normal People by Sally Rooney. We all know I hate Sally Rooney. <laughs> and uh, um, The Vault by Ruth Rendell, which funnily enough is like a random entry in the series, I think. It's like number 17 or something. And um, I used to have it and DNF'd it because I wanted to start the series or to pick a better Ruth Rendell book to start with. 
So yeah, um, yeah. Anyway, so she gave me that, and then in the post I got How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Already read it, did enjoy it. Don't ask me why I'm reading a Christmas book in May. So again, one of my friends picked out a random number, and that was the, the book it corresponded with. Uh, the same thing happened here with Philip K. Dick. We can remember it for you wholesale. This is actually volume five of the collected stories of Philip K. Dick. So I have read We Can Rem remember, for you, remember It For You Wholesale, I think. Isn't that the one that Blade Runner's based on? And there's actually volume two of this uh, collected stories. It's also called We Can Remember It For You Wholesale and presumably also includes that story. But um, yeah, there's no such thing as like a one edition, all of Philip K. Dick's stories. So I'm, I'm working my way through the collected ones, I guess. Well, they're on my wish list and somebody picked the number that cor corresponded with that. Then we have Will Taven by Ollie Jacobs. This is basically, it's an indie novel and it's like a Lovecraftian take on a, a small English town. May exist, may not exist. Actually, it does both and neither at the same time. And um, this is a bit like Illuminae in that it's like a bunch of case files about um, the, you know, Will Haven, collected by the BPD, which I believe are the Bureau, the Bureau of Paranormal Detectives. Um, and I'm really enjoying it so far, it's my current read. And then I don't need to say too much about this. My mum got me this for my um, for my birthday as an early birthday present. This is If It Bleeds by Stephen King, which I believe is four novellas, and and starring Holly Gibney as well. So I'm pretty stoked. I will uh, get to this one soon as well. Anyway, that's about it. I've got no more books to update you guys on, and it's the last day of the month and a Sunday, so no post. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.